Welcome to Digital Online Training. In this video, you will get the course content of Salesforce Development. Digital Online Training Salesforce Development Training course will help you pass the Salesforce Developer Exam, Dev 401, and the Salesforce App Builder Exam. Concepts on Force.com Platform, App Exchange, SFTC Security Model, Service Cloud, Sales Cloud, Lightning App Builder. Salesforce reports and dashboard can be mastered in this Salesforce training course. Salesforce CRM has been more user-friendly and economical. The cloud-based applications of Salesforce CRM are intended for sales, services, marketing, productivity, and many more important business operations. It facilitates good software experts, fresh graduates, and beginners as well to easily manage and improve business relationships. Who can learn Salesforce? This is one of the most common questions raising in many people. It's obvious that guys often misunderstand that Salesforce CRM development training is only for IT people. Let us get a clear idea now. As you know, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. It is nothing but an outstanding software system that is able to manage the customers, sales, profits, products or services and other important business considerations. So, any kind of retail, software, educational, or commercial business needs effective CRM systems to meet success and development. Salesforce CRM is a popular cloud-based CRM system. So anyone from any professional or educational background can learn Salesforce CRM. It is really offering lots of job opportunities for technical and non-technical people throughout the world. Online training features. Real-time expert trainers. Industry-specific scenarios. Video recording sessions. Soft copy of materials. Interview preparation tips. Lesson 1. Getting started with Salesforce Platform. Understanding Salesforce Platform. Understanding Salesforce terminologies. Multitenancy and cloud. Understanding Salesforce Metadata and API Understanding Salesforce Architecture Declarative versus Programmatic Changes and Customizations Application Development Tools in Salesforce App Exchange's Application Development Strategy Finding and Navigating Salesforce Documentation Understanding Salesforce Trust Lesson 2 Building Data Model in Salesforce and Business Process Data Model Fields Relationship Fields Junction Object Schema Builder Business Logic Lesson 3 Data Management Data Management in Salesforce Exporting Data Lesson 4 Introduction to Apex 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 Development Process Apex Development Tools Apex Governor Limits Lesson 5 Data Types and Logic Control in Apex Data Types Primitive Data Types Subject Data Types Enum Data Types Collections Data Types Operations Logic Control Statement Lesson 6, Apex Classes Classes Apex Class Variables and Methods Access Modifiers Class Constructors The This Keyword Inheritance Sharing Interface System Classes and Methods Lesson 7, Subject Relationships API Names of Object and Field Relationship in Apex Lesson 8, SOCL and SOCL Queries Salesforce Object Query Language, SOQL SOCL Functions SOCL Variable Binding SOCL for Loops SOCL Keywords Relationship Queries Salesforce Object Search Language, SOSL 
Sokol vs. Sosl. Lesson 9, Data Manipulation Language. Data Manipulation Language DML. Save Result Class. Transaction Control. Database DML Options. DML Operations on Records. DML and Loops. Sokol, DML and Governor Limits. Lesson 10, Apex Triggers. Apex Triggers. Types of Apex Triggers. Triggers and their execution order. Creating and viewing triggers. Basic trigger syntax. Trigger context variables. Understanding trigger events. Trigger helper class pattern. Bulk field trigger. Handing recursion in triggers. Restrict save operations with add error. Apex trigger best practices. Lesson 11, Exception Handling. What are exceptions? Exception statements. Types of exceptions. Common exception methods. Catching different exception types. Custom exception classes. Lesson 12, Debugging. What is debugging? What is logs? Debug in developer console. Anonymous blocks. Lesson 13, Testing Strategy. Apex Unit Tests. Creating test data and users. Unit test methods. Unit test for governor limits. Running unit tests. UI. Developer console. Force.com IDE. Execute anonymous versus test classes. Lesson 14, Deployment Strategy. Requirements for deploying Apex, code coverage. Deployment via change sets. Force.com IDE via ANT tools. Workbench. Application life cycle management. Lesson 15, Visual Force Pages, MVC Pattern. Tags. Expression Syntax. Data Binding. Action Binding. Include static resources, JavaScript, style sheets into Visual Force. Lesson 16, Controllers. Types of Visual Force. Standard Controllers. Data Binding. Traversing Data. Error messages. Actions. Incorporate VF into application. Custom controllers. Why use custom controllers? Invoking custom controllers and extensions. Lesson 16. Controllers. Continuation. Action methods. Navigation methods. Page reference. Controller extensions. Constructors. Use in Visual Force pages. Deploying controllers. Testing controllers. Security in controllers in Visual Force. Impact of Apex on declarative changes. Controller architecture. Controller methods.